Back in 2018, I was door dashing to earn some extra money. I usually stick to the breakfast and lunch rushes because that's when the orders come in hot and heavy. So towards the end of my shift, I snagged an order that wasn't too far from the restaurant itself. While I was waiting for the food, the customer hit me up asking for extra ketchup packets for his fries. No biggie, right? I passed on the message to the restaurant, grabbed the food, and hit the road. Now I'm back in my car, just chilling for a second, trying to figure out the directions to this guy's place. That's when I see I got a message from him, all in caps, asking where I am, which like makes zero sense because I just picked up his food. Anyway, I start driving, and a few moments later, I get another message from him. By the time I safely check it, I see he's outside on his porch, arms crossed, looking all impatient. So I hop out of the car with his food, and before I even reach his place, this guy's storming towards me like he's on a mission. We meet halfway, I hand over his order, and he snatches it from me like he's in a rush. Then without warning, he grabs a fry and hurls it at me. Next thing I know, he's gripping my arm like a vice, yelling about how his fries are cold and I'm gonna pay for it. Talk about losing his marbles, right? I'm trying to explain that I drove as fast as I could, but he ain't having it. Just when things are getting intense, one of his neighbors steps in, seeing the commotion. The guy lets go of my arm like nothing happened, and I bolt a few steps away. The neighbor checks in on me, and I'm like, yeah, I'm good, thanks. Then I book it back to my car, dialing the cops as I drive off to report the whole crazy incident. Turns out this guy had a rep for pulling this kind of crap, so the cops swooped in and nabbed him. Man, let me tell you, that was one heck of a scare. Definitely not your average delivery run, that's for sure. All right, so let me tell you about this wild day I had when I was working for DoorDash a few years back. I'd been grinding away most of the day, delivering orders left and right. So this one order pops up on my phone, and I'm like, cool, let's do this. Headed to the restaurant, grab the grub, and hit the road. Now, I'm driving along, trying to figure out where I'm headed, when I notice this old pickup truck right behind me. Didn't think much of it at first, you know, lunch rush and all that. But then, halfway to the delivery spot, I see the same truck still tailing me. That's when the alarm bells start ringing in my head. I mean, I'm not Sherlock Holmes or anything, but something just felt off. So, we both roll into the apartment complex, and this guy parks his truck right behind me taking up two spots like he owns the place. I steal a glance at him, and let me tell you, he's not exactly Mr. Clean Cut. Looked like he hadn't seen a shower in weeks. Anyway, I figure I'll just do my thing since I'm right by the customer's door. If things get hairy, I can always yell for help or call the cops. But when I turn around after dropping off the food, this dude's still in his truck, just staring at me like a creep. I hustle back to my car, lock all the doors, and sit there for a minute, hoping he'll take the hint and buzz off. But nope, he's still there, not moving an inch. At that point, I'm like, okay, time to get out of Dodge. So, I start backing up, and guess what? He does the same dang thing. Now, I'm starting to get seriously spooked. I mean, what's this guy's deal? Is he lost? Stalking me? No idea. But I'm not sticking around to find out. I make a beeline for the police station with old pickup truck guy hot on my tail the whole way. Pulling into the station's parking lot, I breathe a sigh of relief when he doesn't follow me in, but he just hangs back, staring at me like I'm his next meal or something. I march inside, spill the beans to the cops, and hope they can make heads or tails of the situation. Sadly, I didn't catch his license plate, so there's not much they can do. They say they'll look into it but I never hear back from them. As I leave the station, I keep my eyes peeled for that truck, but it's vanished into thin air. So, for a while after that, I'm constantly looking over my shoulder, wondering if old creepy truck dude's lurking around every corner. Talk about a nerve-wracking experience. All right, here's a crazy one I got to share. So, it all started when my friend and I, both 19-year-old girls, decided to make some extra cash by doing some door dashing. At first, we thought it was kinda annoying that our parents made us go together, but looking back, we totally get it. So, you know how DoorDash works, right? You only see the address after you've picked up the food. Anyways, we got this $1.09 order from Burger King, 
which isn't much, but hey, it was a slow night, so we went for it. We got the address and started driving. But when we arrived, we realized we were at this really sketchy motel. And to make things even weirder, there's this woman outside who looks like she's waiting for something. We ask her if the food's for her and she just takes off running. Yeah, that freaked us out a bit. So we call the customer and this guy from West Virginia answers. He starts going on about how creepy the place is and then tries to get us to come to his room to give him the food. Like, seriously, we're not about to do that. He keeps insisting, saying stuff like, I'm gay, so it doesn't matter, which makes zero sense. I'm just like, sorry, sir, against company policy, and try to leave the food in the lobby, but he won't have it. So I'm thinking about calling the cops when I spot this guy in the parking lot with his kids. Feeling safer, I tell him everything, almost crying because I'm so scared. Turns out the guy works at the motel, so he finds out the creepy guy's room and goes to deliver the food. I call the customer back with a new plan, but he keeps begging, offering cash tips and asking weird questions. So sketchy. Finally, he agrees to meet the motel worker in the lobby. He gets his food, and my friend and I get out of there as fast as we can. After that, I reached out to DoorDash to tell them what happened. Seriously, it's so scary to think about being in that situation. Thank goodness we didn't go to that guy's door. You never know what could have happened. I hope you found these stories as chilling and unsettling as I did. It's a stark reminder that sometimes reality can be stranger and more frightening than fiction. If you enjoyed these tales of suspense, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more spine-chilling content. This is your host, Nicholas Black. Until next time.